dari alur cerita kita bisa me merasakan ya bahwa ini adalah uh, problem semua perempuan ya bahwa ini adalah cerita tentang tiga generasi dari penduduk asli uh, di Kanada yang kita lihat tadi ada uh, Lina ya sang tokoh um, uh, ibu dengan anak perempuannya Pika lalu ada ibunya uh, Lina yang saya pikir ibunya Lina uh, mainnya sangat bagus sekali ya saya saya, saya suka sekali uh, apa tokohnya sangat kuat sekali ya uh, tapi di dalam film itu kita juga belajar tentang apa yang dihadapi oleh penduduk asli Kanada ya tentang persoalan uh, masalah uh, apa tentang um, ada masalah alkohol ya tobacco dan lalu ada satu istilah intergenerational uh, intergenerational apa tadi ya istilahnya yang bahwa uh, kekerasan itu uh, terjadi atau terulang lagi gitu ya pada generasi Uh, berikutnya gitu ya jadi uh, misalnya uh, tadi di dalam uh, film ada uh, persoalan uh, hamil uh, dini ya karena si Lina hamil pada umur 15 tahun lalu terus ibunya juga sama ya lalu terus kemudian ada persoalan drugs juga uh, pada anaknya dan sebagainya lalu ini dianggap bahwa uh, terjadi pada generasi dan generasi berikutnya jadi Uh, kita belajar banyak uh, juga dari film ini persoalan-persoalan apa yang dihadapi uh, perempuan penduduk asli di Kanada uh, karena ini memang adalah hari uh, internasional perempuan jadi kita baik juga belajar dari uh, negara lain dan berusaha juga memahami apa yang terjadi di uh, negara kita oleh sebab itu saya kira uh, saya serahkan pada Ibu Helen untuk uh, sedikit menceritakan Um, what you know, about the film and about uh, how you think um, uh, with all the problems that's uh, being you know portrayed in the film could you uh, give us a little bit of background uh, about the woman's situation uh, in Canada yeah, please. Thank you very much. Thank you for attending this uh, this this movie, uh, and thank you for celebrating the International Women's Day with uh, with us and Journal Perempuan. Yeah, this movie is a uh, is a clear reminder that uh, the fight for uh, women's rights and women empowerment is a continued continued struggle, and that in all countries around the world, um, we have we still continue. We still need to continue to promote women's rights and to provide them with the equal opportunities to succeed, to be educated, and to have the equal opportunities than men, ha men have. Uh, I think that the, the movie also shows the, uh, uh, the importance of addressing Aboriginal issues. Um, and this is why the uh, the government of, of Canada has um, d d um, has you know, made clear commitment in, in the last uh, in the last year and a half to um, to start a, a, a new partnership with the Aboriginal uh, communities to exactly stop the cycle of violence uh, uh, domestic violence. Domestic violence because of the um, the, the the hardship, the the struggle. Um, so hopefully, this new generation that we've seen in this in this movie is the last generation to to suffer from uh, from the legacy of uh, of of, uh, of the relationship that historically um, we had with the Aboriginals. And, and this is why Canada provides close to $300 million uh, per year uh, in services to communities, to Aboriginal communities. Um, and we've seen in the movie that, that, I don't know, you might not have noticed, but the, the, the woman, uh, when she was in the city in Toronto, she was actually volunteering 
working free for uh, a center for Aboriginal people in Toronto to, to help them, to help their empowerment. So there's a lot of social uh, services, social programs, centers, um, community centers that uh, have been uh, developed and, uh, and that are flourishing throughout Canada. So now I think I would like to invite you to ask questions or um, provide comments on, on, on the movie. Uh, before doing that, I would just like to recognize Ambassador McArthur, who just uh, arrived. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, Ambassador MacArthur. Uh, uh, kita langsung kepada Ibu Julia yang mau memberikan komentar. Silakan. Selamat siang semua. Selamat Hari Perempuan Internasional. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Ambassador. You don't need uh, your headphones for that. <laughs> um, I'm Julia Surya Kusuma. Um, um, I wanted to make a, a comment about about the film. I think it's. Um, it's it's more than just a film about women. I think it has very oh, saya bicara bahasa Indonesia aja atau bahasa? Yeah. Komentar saya mengenai film ini itu meskipun dia se mengambil satu lokalitas yang sangat uh, spesifik sekali, tapi sebenarnya temanya itu sangat-sangat universal sekali gitu. Dan menurut saya tidak terbatas pada perempuan saja. Ini adalah suatu mm, pola lingkaran dan juga lingkaran setan yang terjadi dalam banyak keluarga. Saya melihat pola ini dalam keluarga saya sendiri misalnya. Um, ini sebenarnya cerita tentang orang-orang, uh, tiga generasi. Buat saya menarik sekali tiga generasi ini karena um, saya sendiri punya cucu. Dan uh, saya melihat uh, bahwa Saya dekat dengan cucu saya lebih daripada sama anak saya, seperti di dalam film ini, gitu. Dan e, memang mesti loncat satu generasi mungkin. Jadi ini film mengenai orang-orang yang berusaha menjalani, menavigasi kehidupan dan membuat kesalahan-kesalahan e, dan berusaha menjadi orang baik, trying to do the right thing, tapi e, tersandung karena masa lalu. Jadi ini trauma masa lalu gitu uh, dan uh, dan itu tuh perjalanan untuk memperbaiki diri sendiri itu dan melakukan um, bridging ya pen, uh, dengan antar generasi itu tuh uh, penuh dengan maju mundur maju mundur uh, sliding back and moving forward sliding back um, begitu. Uh, Jadi ini menurut saya tema yang sangat universal dan dan ini tentunya sangat tepat untuk Hari Internasional Perempuan. Um, kalau saya melihat di Indonesia karena kemarin gadis minta ya saya dikaitkan dengan Indonesia. Tadi gadis sendiri sudah menyebutkan bagaimana soal drugs, soal teenage pregnancy ya. Um, itu itu juga sering uh, terjadi di sini. Cuman Kalau di Indonesia barangkali gitu uh, mungkin anaknya nggak sekurang ajar itu. <laughs> Apalagi saya, saya menurut saya film ini um, bisa memberikan inspirasi untuk untuk perenungan perenungan bahwa bahwa non jauh di Kanada terjadi hal-hal yang sebenarnya di Indonesia juga terjadi. Jadi saya kira memang Hari Perempuan Internasional ini adalah suatu kesempatan untuk berbagi untuk memberikan satu perasaan bahwa memang feminisme itu adalah sesuatu yang universal dan oleh karena itu kita harus uh, melakukan um, penggalangan ber bersama gitu seperti misalnya kemarin ini juga kan ada tanggal 4 Maret itu ada uh, Jakarta Women's March dan hari ini ada kolom saya di Jakarta Post tentang itu uh, antara lain um, dan saya kira itu um, apa ya uh, Women's March yang terjadi tanggal 4 Maret itu juga terinspirasi oleh Women's March yang dilakukan di Amerika. Jadi saya kira ini benar-benar uh, kita khususnya tanggal 8 ini adalah kesempatan untuk saling memberikan inspirasi. Uh, tapi bukan hanya pada tanggal 8 aja sebetulnya 
kapan saja. Terima kasih itu komentar saya. Terima kasih Ibu Julia. Ibu Julia aktivis perempuan dan juga kolumnis di Jakarta Post ya. Uh, memang benar sih bahwa ini uh, film memang juga mengingatkan juga pada uh, persoalan-persoalan kita di sini. Mungkin saya undang lagi apakah ada ada pertanyaan lagi dari teman-teman uh, yang menonton. Persoalan-persoalan isu yang diangkat misalnya tentang ini ya. Uh, sebetulnya yang saya mau tanya juga sama Ibu Helen tentang uh, di dalam film ada tentang residential school. Oh, ya. Uh, mungkin kita nggak begitu memahami konteksnya, tapi tadi di dalam film sepertinya residential school ini uh, menjadi masalah gitu karena ayahnya kan ayahnya bunuh diri ya, uh, lalu disebutkan juga bahwa ayahnya ikut dalam residential school ini ya, jadi saya mungkin mau tanya kira-kira uh, apa ini yang yang dikatakan residential school ya di dalam uh, konteks uh, Kanada ya. Uh, dan uh, juga disebutkan tentang begitu banyak fatherless children ya yang uh, anak-anak yang tidak mempunyai uh, ayah ya di dalam konteks uh, penduduk asli uh, Kanada. Nah, silakan uh, Ibu Helen. Kalau misalnya nanti sambil memancing pertanyaan yang lainnya. Yes, like I said in my uh, opening remarks uh, before the uh, the movie. Um, the residential school um, has been a, a, one of the darkest chapter of our history in Canada. Um, for for, for uh, decades, um, children of Aboriginal families were, were brought to these residential schools. Um, and it was substandard schools and also it's because they were completely removed from, from their communities. Um, so they were removed from their culture, from their family, uh, families, from from their from their uh, Aboriginal village. Um, so, of course, it had a very negative uh, impact on on the children. It was lots of sufferings. Um, instead of denying this fact, the government of Canada accepted to look back at the history, face it accept it and to accept um, this, um, this what, what happened. And they implemented the Reconciliation Commission. And for a for few years, there have been some testimonies and uh, they engaged with the Aboriginal communities. And this Reconciliation Commission was at the heart of reconciliation and at the heart of this uh, new, new start uh, for in the relationship between the government and the uh, and the Aboriginals, perhaps Ambassador would like to add anything. But uh, <laughs> thank you. So this is in, in in briefly. This is this is what happened. Yeah. Ya, jadi persoalan bahwa uh, seringkali penduduk yang terpinggirkan kemudian uh, selalu ada efek ya efek uh, dan kalau kita lihat dari film ini efek terhadap uh, keluarga dan lebih uh, lagi kepada uh, perempuan ya dengan um, isu-isu yang diangkat ya tentang uh, kehamilan uh, dini dan sebagainya kehamilan remaja dan sebagainya mungkin ada yang ada lagi yang uh, ingin bertanya silakan ya silakan ibu sebentar ibu sebentar uh, oke okay, my name is Hana I'm from UNJ University of Jakarta uh, I want to ask about how can the help reach someone in need? While, in my opinion, the reality shows that women tend to be submissive and tolerate the violence, even though we and the governments encourage them to hold their right. And in this case, even stronger in slum environment, less fortunate are imperious. Uh, so, uh, how can this reach? Uh, the one in needs. That's my question. Thank you. Jadi maksudnya menjem, menjembatani. Yeah, ya. Jadi le, uh, pertanyaan saya lebih tepatnya seperti ini. Uh, bagaimana? Uh, apa sih namanya? Kan kita uh, mengetahui kalau misalnya 
uh, kayak diskusi seperti ini dan uh, juga di dalam tadi pemerintahan juga uh, sudah uh, mempunyai rencana-rencana untuk uh, apa ya namanya membantu uh, wanita-wanita yang seperti misalnya uh, dalam dalam hal ini KDRT ataupun kekerasan dalam rumah tangga ataupun kekerasan lainnya pada perempuan dan anak. Nah, tetapi uh, dalam uh, dalam kenyataannya menurut saya uh, beberapa perempuan atau lebih lebih besar uh, jumlahnya mereka itu lebih submisif dan uh, apa ya namanya tolerance uh, akan uh, apa kekerasan tersebut gitu. Padahal uh, pemerintah dan kita sendiri sudah uh, apa ya namanya sudah gencar untuk Uh, mem- menguatkan mereka kalau misalnya ayo kita bantu gitu tetapi tetap saja mereka masih uh, lebih apa ya namanya lebih lebih toleran gitu jadi bagaimana kita uh, apa ya lebih tepatnya bagaimana kita supaya dia itu lebih percaya diri untuk uh, apa ya namanya me- mendapatkan hak asasinya gitu ya yeah, gitu terima kasih ya yeah, makasih that's a very good question thank you for that uh, I think that You're, you're right. Some, some women may think that violence is just the way it is. And they have to accept it. Because this is what they, they've, they've lived and they've known for, for since their childhood. So how do we break this cycle of violence? By promoting, promoting women rights. By educating women by raising awareness, by telling them that this is not correct, that they have rights and they don't, they don't, they must not tolerate this violence. And how do we do this? It's education. Education is at the heart of, of the problem and the solution. Um, I mean, the solution. So education for, for girls, and this is why it is so important to give the opportunity, the equal opportunity to women and girls, women, to girls to go to school, but to go to school as long as little boys and teenagers uh, boys go to school. So it's the education, not only to, to um, uh, provide them with equal job opportunities, but also to provide them with confidence and to provide them also with the, um, uh, for them to learn about, about their, their rights. So I talk about education for girls, but raising awareness among the population, raising awareness also for, for mothers and fathers to tell them that women, to explain, to raise awareness about the women and girls' rights is important. And this is why the, the Embassy of Canada is working for many years now with Jonah Perempuan, with Kaliana Mitra, with other Indonesian NGOs to raise this awareness, to help them to raise this awareness about, uh, about women's rights uh, and girls' rights uh, in, in Indonesia. And this is why we also in Canada, the government, um, funds many programs to promote Woman, woman's rights and to provide equal uh, uh, opportunities to girls. This awareness and to, to raise and promote women rights and to achieve women empowerment takes time. So we need to wait for, for generations to achieve the full potential uh, of, of, of women rights. Uh, and hopefully we're We're almost there. Ya, Komnas Perempuan kan mengatakan bahwa setiap tiga menit ada satu perempuan yang mengalami kekerasan, gitu ya. Jadi uh, persoalan kekerasan terhadap perempuan juga di negara kita juga menjadi uh, uh, masalah, ya, uh, apa persoalan uh, peningkatan terhadap perkosaan yang seperti kita juga ingat. Kalau tidak salah itu tahun 2016-2015 ya terjadi begitu banyak uh, kasus perkosaan di uh, kota-kota besar. Uh, jadi memang bagaimana memutus cycle of violence ini, uh, lingkaran kekerasan ini, ya, yang ini yang uh, mungkin di hari perempuan kita selalu membicarakannya dan selalu mendiskusikannya agar lingkaran kekerasan ini bisa uh, terhenti. Iya. Saya undang lagi 
uh, ada yang silakan ya mbak oh, ada dua oh suster silakan iya good afternoon everybody good afternoon Miss Helen and counselors uh, ambassador sorry uh, welcome to Indonesia we are happy to have you here uh, I am Genevieve Holy Spirit missionary sisters uh, I am from Vivat International NGOs. We are working for human rights, especially human trafficking also. Uh, I do agree with Ms. Uh, Helen's um, underscore, talking about uh, uh, how to handle with the issue of human trafficking or no. For the violence towards women, I think it's a, uh, we have to give them the awareness to the society and also for education. It is important, but here, we are working hard for this. I think many NGOs, the governments, and from the church, from the Muslims or the Catholic and uh, Christian, Protestant, we are working hard for this. But the big issue that we are facing is that uh, the culture. And here in Indonesia, men is the number, number one. So even talking about women, right, always women say, uh, people said, we miss the second class. So if talking about uh, education, uh, many families, they don't really aware of that. They think only men can study, but not women. Women have to stay home, and they have to take care of the family, they have to cook, because their job, when they grow up, they will get married and they will serve another family, not in our family. So for women, when they work for this, it's so hard. And the second, talking about awareness, it is hard for us to reach people in the remote places, in Jakarta or big city. I think it is okay, possible, maybe we can give the uh, seminar about the, uh, the violence against women, but it is hard for us to reach the place in the remote places because the road is not really good for us, transportation is also not really good for us. These are our uh, problems to face this. And I am so glad that uh, Many NGOs from every groups, we are working for this. And also sometimes from us women, when we talk, if you are facing this problem, you have to speak up. And they said, oh no, otherwise I will be killed for, uh, by my uncle or by my brother or my dad. So better I keep quiet. And this is the culture, so I have to keep quiet. This is really strong in women's uh, minds. So, so I am thinking, I, I had been in the United States working for human rights also. We have good uh, networking for that. And many times we have discussion about this. From every NGOs, international NGOs, we talk about very nicely. And I was thinking that I think it is good to apply it in the remote places. But it is hard for us when we come back here. So it is good to have those information from you. And I hope that uh, you will come more often and build a networking so that we can together to work with the people in remote places. Thank you very much. Terima kasih suster kerjanya untuk kemanusiaan. Ibu Helen mau mau menanggapi? Well, th thank you very much, uh, sister. I I um I, I agree with you. And um indeed this is a challenge everywhere also in the world, remote uh, places, remote locations, villages are always um, uh, difficult uh, to, to, to reach. Uh, but we, we try to do, the Embassy of Canada here tried to do its, uh, its part, and we are uh, funding uh, NGOs uh, in NTT and in Papua, uh, trying to, uh, uh, NGOs who gives training and seminars and uh, NGOs which also uh, put together public discussion in uh, remote villages uh, in these provinces. We have also many other um, programs in uh, Sulawesi and, and uh, in remote um, areas. But um, yes, we, 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 we must think about um, all, the, all the women, and not only women that are easy to access in urban centers. I agree with you. Diskusi ini memang menarik sekali. Uh, Panitia ada satu lagi Ibu Nadia ya, satu lagi. Ya silakan Ibu Nadia. Hello, my name is Nadia Yakubovsky. I'm um, working at the Ministry of Women's Empowerment 
and child protection uh, in the context of German uh, international development cooperation. Um, I would like to congratulate to you and uh, the ambassador for this movie. I think it's a very, very good uh, movie. I liked it a lot. Um, just want to give a comment because it's International Women's Day. Um, I know education is very important for all women, for all girls, and uh, but I think we are very far from that, what we have to achieve. We're very far from it. And if you look at the website of the International Women's Day, it's, it's getting even a higher number you know, of years when we achieve uh, gender equality. It's now 170 years. Last year, do you remember, Gadis, it was how many years? 129? So it's... Sorry, this is getting bigger, the gap. And uh, I just had a look at the uh, report of violence cases in Germany, so and at all um, levels of society, yeah, they looked and the prevalence was the same. So there were no uh, population groups with higher prevalence rates. Yeah? So the educated and the uneducated, the migrants, Muslims, whatever, so they had all high prevalences. So I just would like to uh, encourage everyone a little bit more challenge patriarchy. Okay, education is good, but please uh, don't forget to challenge st uh, stereotypes, yeah? And encourage um, women and girls to work in promising sectors. I think that's very important, but I think, I'm sure you do the same. Uh, you, you, you work uh, also in this field. So this is very important. So we need the economic independence, of course, of course, we need education, but we should really work on these stereotypes, yeah? And, um, and challenge the patriarchy every day, every moment. And thank you, Donald Pompuan, you do a great job. <laughs> thank you. Terima kasih Ibu Nadia. Gini jadi benar-benar terasa internasional ya. Ada Ibu Helen dari Kanada, ada Ibu Nadia dari Jerman, ada Ibu Gadis dari Depok karena ngajar Depok tadi. <laughs> ya sayang sekali meskipun banyak yang mau bertanya tapi waktu kita terbatas karena nanti akan ada juga diskusi tentang kebijakan publik yang pro gender ya. Jadi uh, kita setiap uh, tahun kita bicara tentang masalah-masalah perempuan tapi kita juga ingin tahu bagaimana kebijakan publik yang pro gender ini yang mendukung uh, perempuan uh, terima kasih banyak Ibu Helen dan terima kasih banyak Ambassador McCarthy terima kasih banyak uh, kedutaan Kanada untuk film ini yang sudah kita nikmati dan terima kasih pada uh, para penonton dan penanya tadi ya, terima kasih.